This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with Apostle Tebow and Prophet Tebow. This broadcast airs every Friday on My Gospel Soul at 12 p.m. Central Time. Bustin' Loose in Faith is a seed of faith evangelistic outreach ministry. We come to bring you word, praise, and inspiration. We want you to remember that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But with God, all things are possible. Make sure you share this show at 347 826-9424. Bustin' Loose and Faith Ministers would love to hear from you. Now, let's get into our broadcast with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Right here on My Gospel Soul. God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him this day and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we approach the throne of grace, we come to you humbling ourselves and need our mighty hand today. Just a thank you and a praise you for your mercy, your grace, and your love. Just a thank you and a praise There is no other than worship in spirit and in truth. Now, precious Father, as we get out of the way that you may have your way here tonight, in the name of Jesus. So, actually, you know, I have me behind Calvary's cross and my business of clay. Use me, Father God, for thy glory. In the name of Jesus. So, oh, precious Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your love. I thank you, precious Father, because you alone are worthy to be praised. We bind up all technical difficulties, anything that try to hinder the word of God from going forth. And, Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor as we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit to come on in like a rushing mighty wind, lead, guide, direct, and ordain our footsteps. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, and honor belongs to him this day and forevermore. If you have your Bible, amen, I'd like you to open up to First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. And the word of God says, Behold, a great hallelujah, thank you, thank you, Jesus, to pray without season, to pray without season. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him this day and forevermore. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. We serve a good God. We serve a God that sits high and look low, a God that knows us all by name, the very hairs on our head. Now, in the book of First Thessalonians 5, verse 16 through 18, and the word reads, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. This is the word of God for the people of God. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and to the doers of his word. Beloved, I want to talk tonight about there, hallelujah, there is power in having a thankful heart. There is power in having a thankful heart. Beloved, a grateful heart sees every day as a gift from God, having an attitude of gratitude. Beloved, having a heart of gratitude is a choice, yes, a choice that we make each and every day of our lives. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, pray without season, because the believer of Christ, are to remain in the attitude of prayer. Though not always praying audibly, 
People of God, praying always plays an important part in showing God our appreciation for everything that he does for us as children of his. God waits for us to sincerely express our gratitude, our thanks, and our appreciation for even the smallest things in our lives. I'm going to say that again because for those that hear, for those that tune in tonight, as we approach the Thanksgiving Day celebration, we want to be reminded of how good God is. So people of God praying always, it plays an important part in showing God our appreciation for everything that he does for us as children of his. You see, God waits for us to sincerely express our gratitude, our thanks, and our appreciation for even the smallest thing in our lives. Yes, every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights who has no veriness. He is faithful, and he is a good guy. He's ready, willing, and able to meet our each and every need. Yes, having a power, there's power in having a thankful heart. The word of God says in Philippians 4, verse 19, it says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. As believers of Christ, everything that we have, from the food we eat to the vehicle we drive and the house, house we live in, it is all because God has provided them for us. Many of these things that we call necessity are the basics of life. We sometimes take for granted every day. Oh, yes, we do. But, beloved, beloved, I have stopped by tonight to remind you that it is very important to remember that God supplies our every need. And we must thank him, not just on Thanksgiving Day, but every day of our lives. You see, there's power in having a thankful heart. Always have an attitude of gratitude. Always be thankful for the small stuff. And God, in turn, if we walk in humbleness, in humility, he will reward us with bigger and greater things. Bible says in the book of Luke, Chapter 5, verse 32. Jesus said, I have come not to, I have came not to call the righteous, but to call sinners to repentance. Yes, people of God, the fact that we are even given a chance to repent by a loving God is something for us to be very thankful for. In itself. You see, repentance is a powerful way to show God our gratitude of being thankful. Repentance also, it cleanses us of our sins and makes us worthy in God's eyes to receive his blessing. It is because of Jesus who bridges the gap between God and man. It's because of Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He has allowed, he has become that ultimate sacrifice for all mankind. Yes, we were all at one time born in sin. As a new as we came into this world, we took upon we're partakers of a sinful nature. 
But when we came to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, regardless of the age factor, when we gave our life to Christ and we accepted him as Lord and Savior of our lives, our life changed. Yes, we had the born again spiritual experience. Our spirit was reborn. What a blessing. Now, as children of the Most High God, as followers of Christ, there's power in remembering to have a thankful heart. Don't take life for granted. God has loaded us down with benefits each and every day. He has allowed us to still be here in the land of the living. Be on top of the ground and the ground not on top of us. So we must be conscious and have an attitude of gratitude. So beloved God gives us everything. And he wants us to obey him. And the Bible says in First Samuel fifteen twenty two, the B clause of the verse, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fed of ram. Yes, beloved, God gives us everything, and he wants us to obey him in the little as well as in the in the lot. God knows what is best for each and every one of us, and he will provide everything that we need. So really, what do we have to lose by obeying him? Nothing really, because we have everything to gain. Bible says in Matthew six thirty three. Hallelujah, beloved. Hallelujah to seek first the kingdom of God and all of His righteousness, and everything else shall be added to us. What a blessing, people of God! Obedience. Is an awful thing to show our Heavenly Father that we are so grateful for all the things that he has done. Yes, the Word of God says in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 23, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my word, And my God will love him, and we will come unto him and make our house with him. Believers of Christ, the divine indwelling is conditional. It's based upon love and obedience to Jesus. Yes, to Jesus and to his word. As a believer of Christ, we need to humble ourselves before God. Here the Bible says in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 10, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. So in order to have a grateful heart, one must be humble, living with humility, is a perfect way to show gratitude to God because it shows him that we have faith in him and that no matter what happens, we are acknowledging his authority over all situations. As the Bible says in Hebrew 11 and 1, that now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. And them that come to God must believe that he is who he say he is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So tonight, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are talking about there's power in heaven 
a thankful heart. Oh, yes, my brothers and sisters, through humility, we must submit ourselves to everything that God places in our lives, the good as well as the bad and the ugly. Believers of Christ, being grateful also to others. You see, when we are grateful to others who do things for us, we in turn are showing gratitude to God because we serve God by serving others. So never forget, beloved, that God many times will place people in our lives in order to help us. And we should always Show gratitude, thankfulness for whatever it is that they do for us. You see, it is so easy to say thank you or to return a favor or to acknowledge the goodness of others. Also, it can brighten one's day, someone's day, as well as ours, as well. To believers of Christ, be grateful to God in all things, at all times, no matter the situation, whether good or bad. Beloved, when we fall into the negative trap through hard and difficult times, it is during these difficult times that God is waiting to be the strength that we need. See, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, but those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew our strength. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. We shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. So be thankful tonight for whatever it is that God is teaching you through the difficult and situation that you may find yourself in. See, the word of God says, and it also reminds us in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, and we know, oh, yes, we do, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are to call according to his purpose. This is buried to be repeated. So I, I, I will hear again in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are to call according to his purpose. Yes, there's power in having a thankful heart to have an attitude of gratitude on a daily basis. Beloved, show God your thankfulness for everything you have and during every season of your life. Because we need him. We need God in our life. We need Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We need the Holy Spirit to bring back to remembrance everything that we have read, everything that we have done. Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. So remember that bringing that being Grateful is a choice, and being grateful is the right choice in 2021. Again, as we approach this Thanksgiving season, Thanksgiving Day in a couple of days from now, we may come together as a family, sit around the table, and feast on the food that was cooked. Yes, 
from the turkey, the stuffing, the pies, and every good meal that was prepared. But see, before we partake of the meal, the physical meal, let us take time and bow our heads and just say thank you for the land that we live in, the home of the brave and the free. Even though we may be in a pandemic, even though we, it may, we may be in difficult times, still take the moment to say, tell, to let God know how thankful you are to still be here in the land of the living, to be with family, friends, and associates. What a blessing in 2021. So, beloved, Thanksgiving it is not to be a one day a year obligation or affair. We should thank God on Thanksgiving Day as well as every every day. But in reality, we should thank him many times throughout each and every day that he allow us to still be here in the land of the living. Yes, people of God, we should thank God in every prayer from our heart. Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, be anxious, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. You see, <clears throat> my brothers and sisters, God knows if our thanksgiving is sincere or not, because the reason is simple. God sees our heart. Oh, here's the word of God says in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 34, the because of the verbs out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You see, beloved, the heart is the center of our feelings. Beloved, when God searches our heart, he knows what we are feeling. Yes, beloved, every day of our lives are filled with blessings from our Heavenly Father, the God of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great I am, the one that has all power in his hand, and God is worthy of our thanksgiving, of our praise. Because the Bible says that everything that has birth Praise ye the Lord. So have a thankful heart, which produces many benefits. Having an attitude of gratitude. Beloved, having a thankful heart is having a heart where God's peace is in control. You have the peace of God that surpasses. All understanding. Yes, beloved, developing a thankful heart is not a one day, a one year affair. No, in First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34, it says, Go give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. 
for his mercy endure it forever. Yes, the word says, again, we are reminded in the book of 1 Thessalonians, Bible says in chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, here the Apostle Paul is encouraging them. And he says, rejoice forevermore. Rejoice in the good times, in the bad times. Rejoice when you got money in your pocket and your change starts the same strain. Rejoice anyway. Rejoice when things are going good. When your back is against the wall to pray without seasoning. Bible says in the book of Luke 18 verse 1 for us to pray hallelujah men ought to are always pray and not faint or lose heart we are commanded of God to pray yes in everything give thanks but this is the will of God in Christ, of Jesus, concerning you. Well, it's me. I've been through so much in my life. Tried everything, but nothing turned out right. Then the master. He took my hand, yeah. now he's leading me to the promised land, oh, oh yeah, Jesus loved me, oh yes, my Jesus, he loved me, oh yes, Jesus loved me. For the Bible tells me so. 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 Oh. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good and worthy to be praised. Amen, amen. God is good and worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. We are living in the land of the living, and we are so grateful and thankful that Jesus loves you because the Bible says so, and we, we, are, we do also. Amen. Because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That is a gift in itself. And for that, we should be thankful and grateful for what Jesus did on Calvary's cross, shedding his blood for the remission of our sins. See, the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there would be no remission for sin. So we thank God tonight. We thank him because he is merciful. He is gracious. He is an awesome God. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus Christ is coming back for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. He's coming back for prepared people to take them to a prepared place. John 14, verse 1, 2, and 3 says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mentioned. Was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That my I am, you may be also. Oh, what a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing to know that, that the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he's coming back again. Will you be ready? That's the question. Don't get ready. Be ready. We never know the hour, the minute, the second, when he will return. But he promised and he told his disciples, but when, he be, when he gave them the great commission for them to go and tarry at Jerusalem and wait for the promise to come. After he ascended on high, they went and tarry at Jerusalem. And after 10 days of praying in one heart, one mind, and one accord, power of the Holy Ghost fell in the upper room. And there was fear as the Spirit gave them utterance. Oh, what a blessing to know that our God has full control of what's going on. So tonight, we're, again, we're talking about having power from a thankful heart. And maybe one or there may be some right now that may be listening tonight. We just want to thank God for you out of your busy schedule just to tune in. Well, that you, if this broadcast has been a blessing, that you would just invite others to listen to. We all need encouragement during this hour. We all need to, it seems as if we are living in a hopeless situation. But the word of God is what gives us strength. The word of God is what gives us hope. Because of the witnesses before us, we can stand, we can stand tall and confess that our God is alive and well. And we put our hand in the master's hand. We look onto the hills from which coming our help, our help coming from the Lord. So whatever you believe in God for, we come in complete agreement with you according to his word. If it's in alignment with his word, because his, his word is already settled, it won't change. No, people change, but God don't. God's word don't change. It's settled in heaven as well as here on earth. So keep praying. Keep believing. Keep trusting. God will come through. He's not a man. He should allow the son of man that he should repent. If he said it and he spoke, His word to you. You can stand on it. It shall come to pass. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word will stand forever and ever. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, again tonight, the Bible says, 
in First Chronicles 16, verse 34. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Yes, developing an attitude of gratitude, being thankful, having a thankful heart towards God. People of God, Thanksgiving is the act of expressing specific gratitude to God for the blessing that he has given us, whether those things are physical, spiritual, spiritual, or material. And as we grow in God as believers in Christ, we should have an attitude of gratitude developing in our lives. Having a relationship with Jesus Christ should transfer us into a joyful, positive, and grateful soul. You see, beloved believers of Christ, one sign that indicates that Christ is living in our heart is the attitude and the gratitude that we have towards him. People of God, our lives should be filled day to day with a spirit of thanksgiving. Here in the book of Psalm 92, verses 1 and 2, it says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and the same praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Yes, there is power in having a thankful heart. So continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Believers in Christ, your attitude is determined by the collection of the dominant thoughts in your mind. Here the book says, the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 5, it says, Let this man be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Beloved, all that is required of us is to do is to do what is acts and that is to read our Bible biblical instruction before leaving earth and do what the Bible says for us to do yes this author by the name of Napoleon Hill of Faith and Grow Rich booklet book that he wrote he once said, what the man of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. I'm going to say that again. This is a quote from Napoleon Hill, the author of the book entitled Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill said, what the man of man can conceive. And believe it can also achieve. So, believer in Christ, success will never come to to you unless you are willing to change your attitude, which will change by what you feed your mind with. Remember, there's always that success will never manifest itself around you until it is established first within you. I'm going to say it again because it's better to be repeated. Yes, remember this always, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that success in life will never manifest in you or around you until it is established within you. 
child of God, to develop the right kind of attitude within you. It is a scriptural and spiritual assignment. It's not easy to do. It takes discipline on our part. Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 23, the Amplified Bible says, and be constantly renewed, spirit of your mind, having a fresh mental and spiritual attitude. Child of God, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had and think the same way that Jesus Christ thought. Yes, beloved, believer in Christ, again, read your Bible on a daily basis and do what it says. Yes, we can't wait until midweek service on Sunday morning. No, we have to have a time of devotion when we get into the Word of God for ourselves because getting in the Word of God for ourselves, it will become part of us. That way we won't be, hallelujah, we won't be sidelined by the false prophets that are going rapid through the land. No, by us getting into the word of God, letting it sink from our head all the way to the depths of our heart, when the word of God becomes part of us, when we cross paths with unclean spirits, cross paths with people that are preaching a different gospel, but we can try the spirit by the spirit and see if it is of God or not. You see, prior to correct planning, by preparing your attitude for tomorrow. So, beloved, an attitude of gratitude, it means that we operate from a place of abundance instead of a place of fear and tact and lack and intimidation. You see, each of us always has a choice of what we will focus on. Grateful people always give thanks for everything in their lives, even on days when it feels like nothing is going to be right. So believe in Christ to turn an attitude of gratitude into a sustainable habit, your foundation for feelings of gratitude must be independent of your certain circumstance or situation. There's power in having a thankful heart, thanking God, hallelujah, thanking him for what he has done, thanking him because he is a mighty God. He is a God that sits high and looks low. He's a God that's worthy to be praised. When we look for an example in the Bible, in the book of Luke 17, verse 11 through 19, the Bible says, and it came to pass as Jesus went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as Jesus entered into a certain village, there met him ten leopards that was plagued with leprosy. Who are there were leopards which stood afar off, and they lift up their voice and said, Jesus. Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto the priests. And it came to pass 
that as they went, they were cleansed of leprosy. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus, answering, said, well, there are not ten leopard cleansed, but where are the other? The other nine, thou art not come. They are not come that return to give glory to God. Save this leopard, save this stranger who is a Samaritan. And Jesus said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. So, beloved, notice this, that all ten lepers were healed of leprosy, but only one came back to give Jesus, for his salvation was made complete for him. Beloved, God invites us, even now, in 2021, for us to be grateful and to express thanks unto him by developing thankfulness. It is very essential in developing a positive attitude and a spiritual a passion for Christ. Yes, my my brothers and sisters in Christ, the Bible says in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. So people of God, choosing gratitude as a way of living, it is a choice we must make on a daily basis. Believers of Christ, as we get ready, to observe Thanksgiving as a day of celebration. We need to take the time and count our blessings instead of our cross. We need to count our gains instead of our losses. Yes, we need to count our joy instead of our woes. We need to count our friends, instead of our foes. We need to count our smiles instead of our tears. Count your, count your, your joy, your courage, instead of your fear. Bible says in Second Timothy 1 and 7, but God have not given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Yes, my brothers and sisters, in Christ, in 2021, we need to count our full years instead of our lean ones. We need to count all of our deeds instead of the mean ones. We need to count on our health instead of our wealth. Last but not least, beloved, we need to count on God and trust him instead of ourselves. Bible says in Proverbs 
3, verse 5 and 6, for us to trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding in all of our ways to acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. You see the belief of understanding that life it is a gift and not an entitlement. Entitlement based on the ability to live in the moment without expectation. So, beloved, seeking to be transformed and allowing God to help us become whole as human beings, it is an ideal platform for giving thanks. You see, life is preordained and determined towards change. And change is inevitable. Oh, yes, change may come and change may go. But, but beloved, as you know, God is good. And he's good all the time. So just a reminder, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing in everything. Give thanks. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Developing an attitude of gratitude of being thankful. So, beloved God, command for us to be thankful at all times. See, gratitude is a habit that needs to be cultivated. We all need to develop a sense of wonder, of appreciation, and thanksgiving for all the ways that God has graced our lives. So, child of God, give thanks to God in private, in private, in private, hallelujah, devotion, and in public demonstration. Bible says in the book of Psalms 100, verse 4, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yesterday we were talking about being thankful, having a thankful heart, because there's power in having a heart of thanksgiving. I have with me a little prayer warrior here as she calls us out. In prayer. Oh, Father. Oh, in heaven, how be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in the heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and give us not to the temptation, but to the Lord God, the kingdom, the power, and the and the Amen, amen, amen. I hope and I hope and pray that you enjoyed the teaching tonight. I thank God for my for my for my granddaughter. Amen. She did a wonderful job on the Lord's Prayer. Continue to pray pray for us as well as her in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We pray you've enjoyed the broadcast this evening. Should you have questions, comments, or topics you'd like to hear discussed, please feel free to contact us by writing to us at P.O. Box 92864. Lafayette, Louisiana, 70509. Please address your correspondence to Dudley, D-U-D-L-E-Y, Thibault, T-H-I-B as in boy, E-A-U-X as in X-ray, or Lisa Thibault. Again, for your questions, comments, topics to be discussed, please write to us at P.O. Box 928, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70509. Also, share the number 347 826 9424 
with your family and friends so that they may join you every Tuesday and Friday evening at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time to listen to the broadcast. We appreciate your support. We love you. God bless you. Have a great Thanksgiving with full of love and know that God loves you and so do we. And the Lord willing, we'll be back with you again on Friday evening at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless.